everyone, so I just got back from my husband's birthday dinner and it's super late right now. It's like almost 3 o'clock in the morning, but I just wanted to film this short video before I watched it for bed. So today I'm going to show you guys how I deep pop my MAC eyeshadows. In my October favorites video, I did a review on my new MAC palette and I got the one that holds 15 different colors. So now I'm going to show you guys how I deep pop my individual MAC eyeshadows so that it fits perfectly into this palette. So let's get started. So I'm going to get my individual MAC eyeshadow and this is the Fresh Waters. It's like a really pretty blue color. And now instead of using a knife like I've seen a lot of people do, I'm actually just going to use my hair bow. Because this part is really sharp and it fits perfectly into here to pop it out. I know that if I use a knife to do this, I'm going to hurt myself. So I'm just going to use this. So if you look closely, there's like a little space right there. And that's where I'm going to stick this in. And what you're going to do is kind of wiggle it. Some eyeshadows will pop out faster than the others. See? It just pops right out. Next, I'm going to get a candle. And lit it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a tweezer and grab this eyeshadow. The reason why we're doing this is because the little silver pan is actually glued onto the plastic. And if you look at the bottom, it's just all black plastic. So you're just kind of melting it until you see a little tiny hole so that you could pop it out. So now if you look at the bottom, you will be able to see the silver pan right there because the plastic kind of melted so there's a hole there. So keep checking back to see if you see a hole. Be careful it's hot. Now I'm going to just stick this back in here because MAC has a back to MAC program where if you return six of these or any cases, you could get a free lipstick or a free eyeshadow or lip gloss. So make sure you collect these. I know some of the MACs require the silver pan to be in here, but some doesn't. So make sure you call and find out. The mag next to my house, they said that I don't have to have the silver pan in here, so I'm good. Now I'm going to take the sticker label off of here so that I could put it on the bottom of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my candle again and just put it over the candle for a few seconds. And then it will be much easier to peel the sticker off just comes right off like this. If you try to peel it off without any heat, you might rip the sticker. So here it is. And I'm just going to put it on the bottom of this shadow so I know what this shadow is called. So there you go. I do it for about 30 seconds and I always check to see if the plastic is melting. Sometimes the hole won't form but if you see that the plastic is really melted then you can stop. Even though there is no hole, it's kind of melted right here so you can just get a tweezer and push it out like this and then it will come out. Ow, that was hot. And it will come out. Be careful because it's really hot. I think I just burned myself. <laughs> okay, so I'm done depotting a lot of the eyeshadows. So I'm going to now just stick these in here. This. Here. Purple. 
Divine, Amber Lights, Satin Taupe, this is Mulch, and Tempting. So I just did 12 for now. So I have 12 empty cases, which means that I can get two free lipsticks. So I'm going to stick these in here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yay! For more videos, please subscribe to Beautify Me, like and comment down below, and I will talk to you guys later.